در پارازیت احمدی نژاد در ایران بر تبل جنگ میکوبد و سلطانیه در خارج از ایران میگوید مذاکره میکنیم Poking fun at everything Iran's government holds sacred. What are they thinking? Right now you're watching Parazit. It's an Iranian news satire show that some are calling a Persian version of The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. You see, Parazit delivers the more bizarre moments of Iranian political news with big doses of straight talk and outrage. It operates out of Washington, D.C., and it's broadcast on the Voice of America's Persian News Network, which is funded by the U.S. government. It's hosted by Kambiz Hosseini and Saman Arabi, and Parazit's proving to be a massive hit with Iranians all over the globe. They join us now, live from Washington, D.C. Thank you for being with us, um, Kambiz and Saman. It's great to have you on the program. First, I just want to know, Parazit, what does this mean exactly, and where did the concept of the show come from? Means static. Take it from there. Uh, Parazit is actually it means sta it literally means static. It's what uh, the Iranian government <coughs> it's uses to descramble the uh, the satellite waves getting into Iran and for people to watch television. So since they do that, we made it easier for them and we call the name Parazit. So basically, people are watching the static no, know while you know they're watching static. And I know that you had a kind of a concept for a segment initially, but the protests that followed the Iranian elections changed the, the premise of your show and really how widespread it was uh, watched as well, correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, we didn't have any other uh, direction to go at the time. Uh, everything uh, is uh, political in Iran. All the social um, uh, issues that you see um, uh, these days in Iranian society are political or related to politics somehow. Uh, we uh, started as of a cultural uh, segment, and then uh, right after election, we didn't have any other direction to go uh, but uh, reporting on uh, aftermath of election. The only thing that messed that up, to be honest with you, was the uh, death of Michael Jackson. But beyond that, the, the only thing we could have done was go political with the Iranian elections. Okay, but how, I mean, that seems like an, uh, an easier topic to handle than making fun of the Iranian government, being that you are both from the country. Isn't there a fear of what you're doing? To be honest with you, um, uh, you know, w this is the easy part. We, we live here in Washington, D.C. This is as safe as we can get. Uh, our hats off to those kids in Iran who actually went and protested in the streets. They had a lot to lose, and we didn't. So we did the least we could do, and we just did our job. And... Um, you know, we still have a lovely apartment in Washington. We're not really that scared. Yeah, and while you see people are, uh, went on the streets and uh, they risked their lives, uh, I don't think our, our, our blood has more value than their blood. And talk to me about the response that you get from fans. In many cases, we're seeing this in Tunisia, we've seen it in Iran, certain websites can be blocked. Um, so how do you gauge how popular your show is or, or where people are watching? Basically, we uh, communicate with our fans through uh, social media uh, websites. Uh, Facebook, the face that you see right now on your screen is our Facebook page. We have over uh, 216,000 fans on our Facebook page, and uh, we have over 17 million page views every month. Uh, this is how uh, we uh, communicate with our fans, and they're uh, um, sending us lots of messages and, and, and uh, they suggest lots of stories for us to cover. Plus, when we go to kebab restaurants around here, we get free tea and uh, free yeah, cookies that, and that stuff. Too. Yeah. Good feedback. Can't complain about free tea. Uh, what's your show about this week? What topics will you tackle? Hmm, I'm going to leave this up to this guy because he's... Yeah, many, many, many topics are we, we're going to tackle. Uh, uh, this week, uh, there is this... Um, a uh, show that uh, Ahmadinejad is putting on um, everywhere he goes. He, the first thing he asks the mass audience that how long have you been waiting? And he starts from uh, the time that he's there. Like if, if he gets there at 4 p.m., he says, uh, have you been waiting uh, since 3? And everybody says, no. And then he says, 2. And then he says, uh, uh, one and then he goes on till like early morning. He's got his own comedy show. He basically has to hype yeah, it up. Yeah, and then he says, before. "Who is tired?" And everybody uh, shout, "Enemy!" And uh, this uh, this guy puts on this show everywhere he goes. And and then we're asking people if they're uh, tired 
of watching uh, this show over and over. And if uh, we're asking Mr. Ahmadinejad to get more creative uh, on his, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> opening of uh, frankly, part of his the speech, needs, <laughs> we need more new material, yeah. and uh, we're asking Mr. Ahmadinejad to please change his his format a little bit. Yeah. Give us more stuff. Thank you. It's it's kind of boring now. Oh, we, we've right. seen well, it in the last five years. He ha he has to get more creative. Well, there you have it. Kambiz Hosseini and Saman Arbabi doing what some may think is the unthinkable, making fun of uh, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Uh, thanks for joining us today on PRISM and giving us an insight into your program. We Thank you. It. Thank you for having us.